Money is a very delicate issue for many, many people. This issue can be so contentious that instead of managing their money, people will avoid the topic altogether and solely focus on earning and spending it. In short, there are two types of people, those who increase their wealth and those who lose it. And in this video, I will share with you 10 money mistakes you must avoid at all costs. And if you're new to the channel, then hit the subscribe button below for more life-changing content. The truth is that keeping money is a lot harder than making it. It's not uncommon to see people who come into wealth through inheritance, lottery, or other windfalls and lose it in a short amount of time. A good example of someone who earned a ridiculous amount of money but lost it all is the famous boxer Mike Tyson. Despite earning over $300 million in his career, in 2003 he declared bankruptcy and was reported to be in more than $20 million worth of debt. Needless to say, that money mistakes happen and these mistakes can cripple your finances no matter how much money you make. So let's get into the 10 mistakes that you must avoid. Number 1. Spending on drugs or cigarettes Doing a drug or two in college may have been fun and seemed harmless in the moment, but the truth is that constant use can have negative effects on both your health and your wallet. If you calculate how much drug and cigarette users spend in a week or a year, you will see that many of them are hamstringing their ability to reach financial freedom. For example, a pack of cigarettes costs $9.08, and many cigarette smokers smoke a pack a day. This amounts to $63.56 a week, or $3,305.12 a year. The same amount of money could cover the property taxes on your home or a two-week vacation, but sadly many drug and cigarette users fall into this habit through curiosity and peer pressure. The end result of this habit is a hefty toll on both your health and your wealth in the long term. As such, try to avoid spending on these items as best you can. Number 2. Spending more than you make This can be tempting to do, especially as a young adult. It can be tempting to blow your money right out of college when you are making a consistent income for the first time in your life. Buying that new car, moving into a new house, and flying first class are all appealing things to do, but the problem with them is that you tend to end up living paycheck to paycheck if your income can't cover these costs. This issue can be likened to lifestyle inflation whereby an increase in earning will cause you to increase your living expenses. An increase in paycheck shouldn't warn you to increase your cost of living, however the majority of people feel that they should reward themselves once they get paid. Instead, this cash inflow should be directed into prolonging your wealth through investments and the acquiring of assets. Probably the biggest reason that people spend beyond their means is to impress others. They spend because their self-esteem is low, and without these material goods, they feel inadequate in comparison to others. But this is flawed thinking. As Dave Ramsey says, we buy things we don't need, with money we don't have, to impress people we don't like. Many of us are guilty of this. Once you learn to delay gratification and forget about impressing people, you will then be able to grow financially. Social media is another cause of overspending. People try to spend huge sums of money trying to look rich, without actually being rich. An internet entrepreneur, for example, who, after being told he would never make a big in business, might buy an expensive car when he makes his first big sale in order to prove his critics wrong, again falling into the trap of trying to impress others. This means of impressing others is a never-ending staircase. At all points of life, there will be others to compete with or to show off to. You have no business buying a gadget worth $2,000 when your monthly salary is just $3,000. Be smart create a budget, and track your spending to ensure you avoid spending more than you make. Number 3. Not investing wisely Investments can be really tricky, and many people put their money into things based on tips from friends or a strong conviction that the prices of popular stocks will keep going up. One type of asset that just about everyone seems keen on these days is real estate. Many people think that once they own an investment property that they'll be financially set. They think that every month rent payments will just start rolling in and their income will exponentially increase. Unfortunately, this is not always the case. Sometimes tenants miss payments, appliances break, or the value of your property declines. Like all types of investments, there is risk involved. For the wise investor, the key to making their assets produce a reliable stream of income is to obtain the proper knowledge about a particular market or product before putting their hard-earned money into this adventure. In short, make sure to do proper background work on whatever it is you want to get into and not just because your friends are making money from it or a sales agent told you about the great benefits it has to offer. Number 4. Following Get Rich Quick Schemes Get Rich Quick Schemes are one of the surest ways of losing your money. As the saying goes, 
Quick money brings quick problems, and following a money scheme is bound to get you in trouble. Get rich quick schemes include things like Ponzi schemes, pyramid schemes, and make money overnight offers, and are all set up to make the scheme originator rich by taking your hard earned money. If you are looking into new business ventures and see opportunities that promise high returns with small risk, then tread with caution. Think of it like this, if it takes 20 years in a career to make $200,000, and a new venture is saying that you can make that amount of money in a year, then if it was legitimate, wouldn't everyone be doing it? In short, when it comes to making money fast, always employ your best judgement before signing on the dotted line. Number 5. Not having an emergency fund Let's face it, life doesn't always go your way and sometimes you need cash in order to rectify the situation you're in. For instance, your car could suddenly stop working, you could lose your job, or your washer could break. Unfortunately, just about everything in life costs money, which is why not having an emergency fund set aside is a critical money mistake. Sadly, a 2019 Federal Reserve study found that almost 40% of American adults wouldn't be able to cover a $400 emergency with cash, savings, or a credit card charge that they could pay off quickly. About 27% of those surveyed would need to borrow the money or sell something to come up with the $400, and an additional 12% wouldn't be able to cover it at all. Luckily, you don't have to be one of these people. Saving these funds can be easy. All you have to do is set up a 10% automatic deduction from your pay with your employer that will send a portion of your paycheck into an emergency savings account. But how do you know when you've saved enough? Most financial gurus recommend you accumulate 6 months worth of living expenses, but if you want to be extra cautious, then 1 year's worth is a great goal to set. Number 6. Having just one source of income For most people, having a sole source of income is a way of life, and this income usually comes in the form of a salary. Unfortunately, jobs aren't as secure as people perceive them to be. In fact, in 2018 alone, US businesses laid off more than 21 million people, meaning that if your job was the only way you made money, then all of a sudden your cash and flow came to a halt. When it comes to income sources, you need to think of yourself as a tree. Do trees grow fruit only from one branch? The simple answer is no. They have different branches producing flowers and fruits. And so should you. You should keep developing and learning new ways to let your income work for you. This is not only wise, but a safe way to help you sleep at night. Number 7. Relying heavily on credit cards For many people, credit cards can be a convenient tool for making purchases, but for others, they can be a one-way ticket to debt. Although you need credit cards for some business applications, relying on them heavily can ruin you financially. The use of credit cards promotes impulse buying. It gives you the mentality that you can afford anything and everything, all with an easy swipe. In fact, a 2001 MIT study found that shoppers spend up to 100% more when using their credit card to pay instead of cash. So if you find yourself uncontrollably spending on credit, form the habit of paying with cash instead. When you pay by cash, you are physically handing over money, and seeing the depletion in your wallet will make you feel the financial impact of the purchase much more than when you pay on credit. Number 8. Being scared to take financial risks As the saying goes, no risk, no reward, and in order to make money, you need to take risks. However, the risks you take need to be calculated. For instance, putting your money in an index fund is higher risk than leaving your money in a savings account, but your money will never grow making the typical 0.09% interest that a savings account yields. Instead, investing in an index fund, for example, which mirrors the movements of the whole stock market, has historically provided returns of 7% annually, which is a calculated risk that, in my opinion, is worth taking. Number 9. Saving rather than investing When you keep money in the bank, it loses value over time due to inflation. However, when money is invested wisely, it grows. It's that simple. In mistake number 9, I mentioned that being scared to take financial risks is a mistake. The people who are scared to take risks are people who save all their money and leave it to erode over time. The only money you should be leaving in a savings account is money for your living expenses and your cash emergency fund. In short, you have to save to invest and not save for the sake of saving. Money saved without any actual plan will end up being spent on things that are not worthwhile. For instance, when you leave money in your bank, you will become tempted to spend it on material goods like a new car, new clothes, or entertainment. Instead, you should be getting that money to work for you by investing it. Whether that's in the form of stocks, real estate, REITs, or startups, all these avenues offer a way to make new streams of income, which is much more financially lucrative than letting your money devalue when sitting in the bank. Number 10. Having only one bank account Having only one bank account is risky for a few reasons. First, 
Having one bank account will make the management of your money really difficult. By working with just one bank account, you have to keep all of your emergency, bill, and college savings in one spot. Then, if you splurge and spend this cash, you may risk not having emergency cash or tuition money readily available when you need it. This is why you should have at least three bank accounts. One should be used for emergency funds in case anything goes wrong. Another account can be for your day-to-day -day bills and a final account, which I call a play account. Your play account is what money you allocate for entertainment or vacation. And if you want to take things one step further, you should set up an untouchable account. This account can be used as a savings account that paycheck deductions are directed to every single month, so you can automate your savings process and ensure your wealth grows over time. Thanks for watching. If you want to go from the life you have to the life you deserve, then hit the subscribe button now.